In a 200,000 square foot factory in Colchester, Champlain Cable rolls out thousands of feet of wire and cable every day. This isn't the kind of wire you could buy at the hardware store. Champlain makes industrial, heat-resistant telecommunication and automotive wire, with the lion's share of their product going into cars. You really don't think too much about what makes things work. You know, how does power get from one point to another point? How does how do signals get from one point to another? You know, when you push that button or turn the key in your car, how does all that happen? Fortunately for us, all of that happens because you need wire. The process begins with spools of copper strands. The copper feeds into a machine that uses a series of reels to keep constant tension on the wire. Meanwhile, the machine melts down pellets of a polymer that's used for insulation. The machine heats the wire to about 250 degrees, then coats it in the liquid polymer. Then the freshly insulated wire moves through troughs of warm water, each one cooler than the last, until the wire is cooled to the touch. The machine churns out about 700 feet of wire a minute onto wooden reels that each hold about 50,000 feet. For some products, that's where the process ends. But most of these wires move along to be combined into cables that can carry multiple signals at once. Smaller cables are made by a machine called a twinner. While reels hold the tension, a rotating bow twists two wires together. A quarter does the same thing with four wires. For the largest cables, workers load the reels into a planetary machine. Each reel rotates while the full machine revolves twisting several wires together. Champlain makes cables with up to 20 threads. Some cables get a layer of tape to protect the insulation and make it easier for electricians to strip the wire later on. Others get coated in a chemical release agent for the same reason. About a quarter of the company's products are braided, Bobbins of an even thinner gauge of wire dance around each other, braiding the insulated center wire into a rugged cable that's used for things like construction equipment. Before the process is complete, the freshly made cables head underground to the irradiation department, where an ionic beam hardens their insulation, making them more resistant to hot and cold temperatures. Back above ground, the cables are measured out onto wooden spools that will be packaged and ultimately shipped off across the globe. We really look for what we call demanding environments that need a, a chemistry answer or some of our technology to help solve that problem. Ours is very specialized. Making irradiated wiring puts Champlain Cable in a niche market. They say this makes them better positioned for new applications like robotics and automated vehicles. They're putting technologies that are going to need a cable and wiring that does things differently than they do today. You can't use the wiring tomorrow that you're using today in that new environment. We've looked at that and said, here's how our technology can take advantage of that. And that helps solidify our future.